Hi everybody, welcome back. So, we're back on this guy again. Um, what we've done on our piston here, these are silicone rubber O-rings. They're uh, steam grade. They fit on there really nicely. Um, they're better than that. I'm not sure packing material, I guess, is what it was that they'd used for piston rings before. So, you can see that we've got a real nice fit in there. So that's our piston rings. I went ahead and made an exhaust for it. So we've got that done. We've cut our gaskets. And uh, well, we've got our faces clean, top and bottom. We've got this here cleaned off. And it kind of made me laugh if you look at this. Uh, here and here. The engineer who originally made this, well, you can't see him from the top side, but you know, he was uh, going to drill it here and decided, no, we'll put it here. Well, no, that's not right, so they ended up getting it there. This head will only fit on that cylinder one way. And uh, if we look at our mounting base down here that our cylinder sits on, this will only fit one direction also. And he... Uh, didn't get it right the first time he had drilled through clean through front and back and decided that that's not where this should go so he'd filled him with solder and uh, it's just kind of neat to see how uh, how it was repaired back when it was new so all right well let's get after this oh and uh our cylinder gland packing that goes on the top up here We've also fitted, you see that little guy down in there? That's just a, another steam grade silicone O-ring. And uh, that will seal the top of our cylinder. So, we still have to pack this. I can't forget to do that. Well, you know what? We might as well just do that right now before we forget. So, we push our base back out of the way. And I'm sure that you guys have seen, and you've done this before, on how to pack these. Just take a graphite yarn. I've got some over here. It usually comes in, you know, you know, big, big pieces like this. Well, if you spend a little bit of time and you're patient, you can unravel these, and then you end up with just, you know, a single strand of it. And uh, it's this is still a little bit big for what we're gonna do, but. That's what we're gonna do. So we'll get this and take it and wrap it in a clockwise, as you're looking at it from the top, clockwise position. So that way when you tighten it down, you don't catch the edge. It's just like pipe dope, guys. Um, well, I call it pipe dope, Teflon tape. Um, you wrap it with the direction of the thread. So that way when you're tightening it up, it doesn't grab the tail and you know unwind what you've already done so we'll get a couple wraps on this and we'll go ahead and nip it off and we'll get our packing nut started back down on there I'll pick it back up we'll put a little bit of oil on here and we're gonna start running that down and make sure we don't have it too tight so we got three full wraps on here we're gonna take this and just nip it right off If you guys can hear the barn cat out there, he wants to come in and see what we're doing. All right, we got that done. Let's put a little bit of oil on here. You can't run your packing too tight because it will actually wear whatever you're trying to seal up. So. Make sure we get our tail inside of that cap. And this isn't a big job, but I'll tell you what, when they're small, they can be a real pain. So once we get that started in there, hold the tail down here and let the threads help you to get it up inside. There, did you see that? We've got just this little bit of our tail hanging out. We'll get him stuck up in there. We might have too much material on here. 
I think we put one too many wraps on it, guys. Well, I guess with that said, we can just turn it backwards, catch our tail, take a little bit more off. There. We'll take that little bit off, and that should let us catch our threads. So we got one wrap off of it. We still have two on here. So we'll get this back up inside. Just like that. Get it down there. There. See, we caught our threads now. And we have free movement, but if we tighten this packing down, get him shoved down in there, you want to run it down tight and then back it off. There, we can feel resistance. And there. There we go. So we've got our valve chest done now. We are completely done with that. And uh, we're sealed up. We know that our slide valve in here, when we apply air to it, it slaps up against the front of our cylinder base here. So we should be good to go on that. That feels, that feels nice. All right, well, let's get our bottom gasket here, and I don't know if you guys can be able to pick it up, but yeah, these holes here are not concentric either, so they only fit one way. And right here is our steam inlet, and it's just a notch cut into the side of the cylinder to let the air push the piston back up, or steam, sorry. So we'll figure out where this wants to sit. Right there. We'll get our base plate put back on. I think we're going to put a little bit of this anaerobic gasket sealant on here. Just a, a light glaze. So I'll get that on. I'll get all these screws started and I'll show you guys what we got after we get them started. We'll tighten it down. Yeah, just this little bit. I'll put this on here just enough to make a color we don't want to cover that steam port up we don't want it inside of our piston so there can you see that just that little bit of color on there that's all we need so all right We've got all four of our screws put back down inside of here. We have our gasket in between. You guys can see it down there at the bottom. We got a little bit hanging out, which is not a problem. If it's a little bit big, we can go around and score it with an X-Acto knife and clean that off. And I owe you guys an apology for that last video on this engine here. I don't know. Well, I know exactly what I did, but I don't know why in the hell I did it. I changed the settings on the GoPro and I didn't realize it was, you know, just wrong until I got in and edited it and was like, this is not good. But when you're working on stuff like this, you only get one shot to take it apart the first time and show everyone. And I was like, well, this is terrible, but I guess we're going to have to roll with it. And I did double check and hopefully... The settings are right again this time so i owe you guys an apology and i am sorry so, all right well let's get these screws run down i think it's kind of impressive that uh, this only fits one direction but its fit is perfect in that one spot so I guess everybody makes mistakes. You know, even back when this engine was built, the guy made a mistake just like, uh, well, like I did on that video, that last one we made. So, all right, those are snug down. I'll get them tightened down and then we'll put our piston back in there. We'll oil him up and set him in there and we'll get our head put back on, our packing and our head gasket. So, sit tight, we'll be right back. All right, well. These are tight. I got the next bigger size screwdriver. I don't want to 
booger these heads up any worse than we need to. So, all right, let's put a little bit of oil. And this is just, you know, 30 weight oil. I'm sure that somebody's like, we should use steam oil, but you know, we have steam oil. But oil's better than nothing. So, all right, with that said, let me get some more of this anaerobic material. We'll put it around there. I'll get that oil cleaned off. All right, we'll just put just enough on here for color. And don't want to cover up our port. There. I don't know if you guys can pick up the color on that or not. You can see it's just got that little tinge of pink to it. So, all right. I will get our gasket put back underneath of our head plate here. And I'll show you guys what we got after that. So, be right back. All right. <clears throat> Our cylinder is back together. Nice and movement. We'll oil this silicone rubber O-ring up before we put it on the top here. So, have you guys given any thought to how old you think this engine is? I'd like to hear from you. Leave me a comment. There. That feels really nice. You can tell that it's got rings in it. They seal, we can hear them. All right, well, that's done. So we'll get this back up here. I'm gonna have to put our uh, valve rod back in, which that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And uh, you guys want to hear something silly? I was looking before I started on this tonight. I looked for probably a half an hour to find this part right here. These three pieces. I couldn't find them. I looked all over the bench. I looked under the bench and everything. Couldn't find them. You know what? They were sitting here the whole time. So, yeah. All right. Well, let me get this put back together. So I'll go ahead and get this bolted down, put these uh, same rusted steel screws back into that base. And uh, the next one we come back, we're gonna address our looseness issue here and our, our rattle fit. And uh, no sense in putting it together now, so. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks again. I I love making these videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter to keep everybody interested. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Leave me a comment down below on how old you think this old guy is. And uh, we're almost done, guys. And maybe have two more left. We'll get this done and get our knocks done back here in the back end. And uh, well, we got to make a base for it yet too. Dang it. So, but. At least we'll know where our, we're good to go after that. So, all right. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you in the next one.